All right, welcome everybody. We're doing something a little bit different here on accounting for cycling today. Uh, we're actually going to be upgrading my Dell G7 uh, from 16 gigs of RAM to 32. So let's get started. So first thing, um, I do have my static strap on just to make sure we don't ground or short anything out here. Uh, we will be upgrading to the Crucial Ballistics. The ramp speed's a little bit quicker than what this uh, i7 can handle. It caps out at about 2933 megahertz. So, but shouldn't be an issue and the added memory should be good for uh, definitely running every program I can think of and then also uh, doing some graphics editing, video editing, photos. And it's kind of nice to have that on the go. So one of my favorite things about this Dell G7 we'll see here in a second is there's eight total screws which is kind of nice and they just kind of come out one at a time here on the sides but two of them actually have a special trick And overall, I'd have to say that I, I do really like this. Um, I definitely do not like all the bloatware that's on here from Dell. Um, I would do a clean install, but it just seems like a lot of hassle for a laptop. You have to go back through, find all of the drivers for RGB support, mobile, everything. So these screws have a little special trick they kind of act as a hood latch. So as you screw them, you will kind of hear, pops out. And there we are, pops right off. Uh, that's definitely one of my favorite things about this. Um, on top of that, very easy upgradability. You can see two non-soldered RAM slots. Uh, you actually have two NVMe drive slots. Uh, I still have the original Dell drive in here. Uh, I might actually change that out right now uh, since I've got the whole thing open. And I actually have Ignore that noise, that's my financial calculator. I actually have an SK Hynix uh, Gold P31 SSD. Uh, just kind of sitting here, waiting. Uh, got it on a pretty good deal, it was on sale on Amazon. So I picked one up. Uh, wasn't sure if I was gonna put it in here or put it into my desktop. Um, I mean, while well, we're at it, might as well. So I forgot to bring my knife up with me. So luckily I've got some handy dandy scissors here. Biodegradable packaging instructions. Additional terms, conditions, 
and here we are. So that's it. So this is the drive. And let's just set that out of the way here just for a moment. And follow these nice instructions here on the heat spreader. Uh, this is something that if you actually go out to find the equipment to put in a second SSD on these, it's very difficult to actually find the equipment necessary. Uh, there's actually an adjustable, it's almost like a sled. Whoa. Pull that off. You can see we've actually got some thermal paste there. Uh, so there's a sled that this little drive is attached to. So we'll pull out the original here. like a postage stamp. I'm actually going to hold on to this too because I have the uh, 256 gig i7 Surface Pro 8 coming and this might actually be the perfect size for that if I decide to upgrade that. So we will definitely be holding on to that and so the sled for the SSDs that I was talking about it's this guy here this is also, I'm kind of happy I did not clip my fingernails today, uh, even though they are definitely getting long. There we are. So it's a just like a little T shaped screw holder and Here we are. And now we have it set enough for a 2280 SSD. And we'll actually get started on this. So I am pulling the label off because if we are relying on this heat spreader, we you know, want it to have a good solid contact. That and it's on the inside. We don't really need their labeling. And this will actually bring the laptop up to two terabytes of onboard storage. So, it should be pretty solid. And I have heard it's a 
good idea to actually go through and repaste the CPU and GPU. Um, but that might be something for a different day. Just, yeah, it, it, it's very convenient to have everything open right now. Um, but <laughs> a little shaky on camera right now. I hate to do something wrong and break my laptop. Here's the original RAM, some Samsung chips, and it actually is populated on both sides. Kind of happy to see that. Um, I think it was a, I don't know, I've seen quite a few videos recently on YouTube about how um, a lot of OEMs go with single density, single sided, kind of sad chips um, and that ac that density actually can have performance impacts there we are um, making it actually harder for your laptop or desktop memory in a lot of cases uh, to actually be able to see across the different chips so you can't really see it on here but if you peek in through the side, you might actually be able to see that they're also dual density and and it actually appears to be eight chips per side, which is kind of nice. That should lead to some pretty solid performance. second chip in and nice and easy for RAM and that should be it <laughs> so I mean even though it's a like it's not an Alienware version of this laptop it's just the Dell G7 17 inch uh, 7700 it's got a pretty sizable battery uh, the two SSDs I actually noticed has a pretty detrimental effect on your battery life, um, especially while using the GPU. But overall, this isn't exactly the laptop that I'm going to be using for six, seven, eight hours away from my desk. Uh, it lives pretty close to a power supply. So we'll pop this back on. Um, it's a little bit late right now to run my air duster so that'll be something I'll be doing off camera because this definitely needs good dusting All right. it just pops back in and we'll relatch our hood screws here it's definitely <laughs> that is just an incredible feature and they are locked into the chassis too so they're not going to uh, roll away you don't have to worry about finding the correct ones to put back into place they're just locked right in I need to give it a little assistance And so, as I mentioned during the SSD removal portion, uh, I have pre-ordered the Surface Pro 8. I'm pretty excited about that. 
I currently have the base model, the i5, 8 gigs of RAM, 128 gigs storage, Surface Pro 6. And I've been using that for the past three-ish years. I got a little bit after it was released. Uh, and it is definitely my daily driver. Um, used it throughout school, used it as almost a, just kind of like a super powered e-reader. Used it occasionally for games, but that i5 is a little underpowered. And that one had actually replaced my Surface Pro 3, which replaced my Surface 3, which I do kind of miss that. I think it was a 10.8 inch screen and was pretty lightweight, uh, but I do like the higher performance of the Pro model, so I don't see myself going with a Surface Go anytime soon. Uh, they do appear to be pretty nice little machines though. It's definitely nice too that it's able to run full Windows so you don't have to worry about compatibility or if there's an app out there, especially with the Windows App Store, it's kind of not barren, but it's it leaves things to be desired. So there we are. All right. And we now have a 32 gig of RAM Dell G7 7700, uh, now complete with two terabytes of storage. So that'll be nice. Uh, I just have to reload Windows on there. And I think I'm going to try the, the clean install of Windows. Uh, I do have an external NVMe adapter so I can run the old storage off of the Thunderbolt port on the back if I need to. So, all right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Again, this has been Mike from Accounting for Cycling, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.